this is the first uh, finite difference formula we have derived. And uh, let's just uh, write it down a little bit uh, in a nicer way. Let's just uh, cancel this two with the two over here and uh, basically put this two over here. So we'll write it down. Uh, we'll write it down as second order derivative is approximately equal to ui plus one plus ui minus one minus two times ui divided by delta x squared. Right, so this is basically write it down in a slightly better way. Okay, another way to derive it is uh, uh, using the uh, using the the idea of the difference of the difference. Because if you look at the same formula, it can be written as something divided by delta x, and that something is u i plus one minus u i divided by delta x minus u i minus u i minus one divided by delta x. Right, so this is like a left slope oh uh, the right slope this is the left slope so if you again draw a function of u x i have three points x i x i minus one x i plus one i have u i minus one u i and u i plus one the first term is the slope here right the second term is the slope here, right? Now, basically, the second order derivative is saying, okay, so what is the difference between the slope on the right-hand side and the slope on the left-hand side? Then divide it by the difference between the center of these two slopes, right? Which is one center is halfway between uh, xi and xi plus 1, another one is halfway between xi minus 1 and xi. And the difference between them is exactly delta x. So again, we recover the same formula. Okay, finite difference is nothing but uh, doing approximations like that, using the value of the function at discrete grid, grid points. Oh, okay, so, so let's keep going and see how do we use that? How do we use that approximation of the derivative? And uh, again, let's write down our differential equation. Uh, this is equal to kappa times this derivative, which now we approximate. So the derivative at xi, which is d u i dt, is equal to, so with, so this is with, approximation is equal to kappa times now let's replace this with our newly derived finite difference approximation formula square all right so that is for all the i goes from one two three etc all the way to m minus one how many equations do we get? How many ODEs do we get? We get n minus one ODEs, right? Okay, and for these n minus one ODEs, remember our grid starts with x zero and goes all, all the way to x n. So this n minus one ODEs uses the values of u one, u two, to u n minus one, but also u zero and u n. And these, hopefully, are given by boundary conditions, right? So we need u0 and un as boundary conditions, OK? And we need, uh, need u1, etc., to un minus 1 at t equal to 0 as initial conditions once we have the bounded conditions and the initial conditions we have n minus 1 ODEs for n minus 1 unknowns right for n minus 1 functions of only time which is u1 u2 all the way to u n minus 1 with all the initial conditions given then we assume we then know how to solve these ODEs forward in time to give the values of 
my function u at these grid points. So this is how finite difference works for the heat equation. Okay, in the next lecture, we are actually going to implement this in MATLAB and see how it works on the screen.